So they do give you a fan. You do have an electrical outlet and soap. A shower. Two hooks inside the shower. Why, I have no idea. It does get hot and stay hot. They give you one towel, a bath mat, and a washcloth. So if you're a team husband and wife, you need to ask for another shower towel. They keep these showers relatively clean. I have to say that the laundry is kind of stupid. They give you two washers and dryers, but absolutely no place to fold your laundry, which is the most ignorant thing I've ever seen. It has a subway and a chicken place. I have to say all the employees in both, we were here all weekend long, and all the employees in the chicken and the subway are inept. And there's a little TV room. And the employees, that's an employee there bouncing around. Are not very friendly, oh, dokie, and they don't have any tea, which is my go-to standby. They have like popcorn, fried food, and fudge. Every employee in this pilot Every employee is inept. One of the employees came in and announced that she was an hour late. We came in last night and the guy that was the night person literally was on the counter sitting. They were all laughing and nobody wanted to help anybody. I think it's more of a playtown. The gal at the subway today sat there and complained how exhausted and tired she was. Didn't get her order right. The cookies my husband had ordered got back to the truck and literally had to walk back to get the cookies. But the parking lot, and there's plenty of parking, that's the positive about it. The showers were okay, clean. The actual customer bathrooms are pathetic. They're dirty. Toilet paper on the floor, not kept. So pilot, you got a job to do trying to maintain and keep up with loves. Also the showers are $12 here. Hope that helps somebody. So anyways, going back to it, we were talking the tea, iced tea. Why would you have the iced tea out at a truck stop? Unsweetened iced tea? I mean, how much do you pay for that? Because the employees are too lazy to sit there to, clean, it, put it back to out. clean and put it back out coffee half the time when we've gotten the coffee this weekend it is so strong because they're too lazy to change the coffee the fudge that's in the counter on the counter there that's there's no gross. cover flies dirt it just sits out there's no plastic wrap on it it's just sitting there on the counter amazing to me that you can run a business like that that's why i don't like pilot or flying j they're typically crap holes yeah you know it's a shame because you know you're a small town and how, where's the closest restaurant 25 miles <laughs> unless it's a mom and pop and on sunday they close at two o'clock so you can't get anywhere so you're stuck at this uh pilot here in tulia 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 texas and uh, bad service. I mean, the guy, like I said, when we walked in last night, sitting on the counter, they're all joking. I mean, if I can get, like, maybe you're jerking around, but when you see a customer walk through, up the counter, stand up. But they didn't care. The whole business. To grapple. Lacking. Lacking. Pilot, figure it out, because you're losing the loves.